everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do an app review of the Chrome Beta browser on your Android device. Unfortunately, this is for Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich users only, so you must have a device on Android 4.0 and above, but anyways, as you can see, it says Chrome Beta. It's actually very cool because it gives you many different features to basically sync your browsing experience with your PC. So let's go ahead and check it out. Um, as I said, you must have Ice Cream Sandwich to find it in the market. It's called Chrome Beta right there. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm holding this up with the fly grip, in case you were wondering. But anyways, let's pop it on open, as you can see. You have a, up right up at the beginning. You got your your shortcuts. Your basically your uh, mobile bookmarks. You got Google and Welcome to Google right away. Up at the top, you've got your basically search or type URL. You can set your search to whatever you want, whether you want it to be Yahoo, Google, etc. Um, and you have your basically your tabs right there. So you can open up a new tab if you'd like, or just tap on the th on the screen to go back to your other tab. Down at the bottom, you have. As you can see, your basically your homepage shortcuts. You have your mobile bookmarks right there, as well as a very cool thing: your uh, open tabs on your computer browser. So to do so, as you can see, you have to open up Chrome on your computer and then go to sign into Chrome on your PC. So I will show that in a little bit, but I do want to say if you have not used Chrome on your desktop yet, I highly recommend. Uh, Testing it out, trying it out, definitely my favorite browser by far. So definitely check it out. But anyways, let's go ahead and test this out. I haven't used it yet. So it says access to the tabs you have open on your computer right here. So let's go ahead and try that out. Okay, so now I am on my desktop, the Google uh, Chrome on, on my PC. Anyways, I have the AC Syndicate homepage, Android News web page open as you can see. But first what I'm gonna need to do is go in the upper right hand corner and click on this, uh, basically this tool right here. And right here you have sign into Chrome. Select sign into Chrome. And basically you uh, sync Chrome with your Google account. So of course you're gonna need a Google account. I would assume if you have an Android device, you have a Google account. So let me sign in real quick. Okay, so I went ahead and signed in. It says Google Chrome uh, securely syncs your data with your Google account. Keep everything synced or customized sync data types. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, hit okay sync. Actually, let's go to the advanced and see what you can sync. So you can sync everything, meaning apps, autofill, bookmarks, extensions, passwords, preferences, themes, open tabs. So basically you're gonna get all of your history, etc., from your PC onto your device, which is very cool, especially if you like uh, the autofill option uh, where it fills in your name, your address, etc., when you buy stuff. You also uh, can encrypt uh, passwords, encrypt uh, passphrases as well. So let's go ahead and hit OK. I'm gonna sync everything. Anyways, um, as you can see, it, it, it'll basically go through and let you manage your uh, options right here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this now that I've synced everything. And I do have three tabs open. I have the uh, Chrome for Android beta open. I will link to uh, this web page in the description just if you'd like to see if it's available for your device. You, it would pop up right here. It says this app is compatible with some of my devices only because only some of them have uh, ice cream sandwich on them. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and go back to our AC Syndicate homepage. And now that I've synced it with my uh, Chrome account, we can actually go back to my uh, Nexus S 4G, which is what I have right now running ice cream sandwich. Let's go ahead and uh, check it out. So unlock it, and we are still in our browser. So let's go ahead and go into the bottom right button, and it should, uh, let's see what it does. Um, just open Chrome and select sign in. So I'm not sure. let's go ahead and exit out of it. Let's uh, close it and then go back into it and we'll see if it loads up. I'm not sure, I'm sure it has to sync still because it's sending all that data over to um, my phone. I'm not sure exactly how long it takes to sync, but let me go ahead and let this sync up and I will be back. All right, so I went ahead and rebooted my phone and then I exited out of the Chrome browser on my desktop and restarted it up. And as you can see, it popped up right away. Uh, my three browser options open, the AC Syndicate website, the AC Syndicate forums, as well as the Chrome beta in the Android market. Those three web pages are open. As you can see, you just go down to this tab and those three are all shown. So let's go ahead and press on one. And as you can see, it opens up a new tab and then it'll take me to that website. 
So that is awesome. So let's say I want to go back to my tabs. It shows both of my tabs. Um, it's actually pretty cool. The animations are pretty awesome. You can fling them up and down. If you do want to exit out of one, you just fling it to the left. I'll show you that in a little bit. But anyways, let's go ahead and go back to this first tab and go to the second website I'm on, AC Syndicate Forums. And as you can see, those pop right up. And then let's go back to our first tab again. The three tabs are all popping up, as you can see. Let's go back to the first one and go to the Chrome Beta in the Android market, uh, the option I will link to you guys. But anyways, that'll load right on up as well. And there you have it. Okay, so now that I got all my tabs open, all four of them all synced from my desktop that were open there, um, they opened right up on my phone. I can go ahead and show you guys some awesome features. Um, well, I do want to say the speed of the browser is great. No issues whatsoever with lag, with pinch zooming, as you can see. None at all. I am running this uh, ice cream sandwich on my Nexus S 4G, so it'll definitely you'll definitely get a better experience running it with the Galaxy Nexus or any other native ice cream sandwich device. But anyways, um, as I said, it actually has some very, very cool features. You can add, press the menu button and you can go back, forward, you can bookmark a page, you can open up a new tab, a new incognito tab, which is nice to have, bookmarks, other devices, share, find and page settings, and help. Um, some cool things you can do is you can actually very quickly swipe in between tabs. To open up tabs, you press the tab button right there and you got all four of them opened up. It's actually pretty cool, the animation, how they do it, to scroll through and such, as you can see kind of stacks on top of each other, which is actually really awesome. Google did a great job with the Chrome browser. I'm surprised they didn't do this earlier, but it's really great that they're finally getting it out there. It is in beta state, as I said. Anyways, you got your four uh, tabs. You just tap on the screen you want to open, um, which is great. To exit out of one, let's say I wanted to exit out of the AC Syndicate forums, I'll just swipe. Swipe it away, and it goes away. So now I only have three tabs open. So let's go back to the home page. Opens back on up. Another really quick way to swipe between your tabs is from the left side of the screen. Just swipe over, and you get your option to go in between the two. So it's actually pretty cool that you can do that. You can go very quickly in between the two. Um, it can get in the way sometimes. Not really it, once you get used to it, of course. But right away, whenever I try it, if I was over, let's say, on the right side of a, of a screen, I wanted to scroll over to the left, I would kind of st I would start uh, over here and do it, but it would switch tabs on me. But it's now that you get used to it, you remember to just swipe over from the middle of the screen as opposed to the outsides of the screen. As you get to the end, there's a little animation letting you know there's no more tabs on the right side, as you can see. But that's actually really cool. So another cool feature you do have is the text selection. So let's go ahead and select text. Up at the top, you've got select all, copy, share, search. So let's select all. As you can see, it selects the entire page. You can share it via Bluetooth, Gmail, Google Plus messaging, and you can copy it as well. So you have those text selection options, which is very great. But overall, everything's very fast, snappy, very, very pleased with this desktop sync. It's actually very cool. Let's say I wanted to go to another site. Let's go ahead and press the tab button, open up a new tab. Nice animations as well, as I said. So it opens up a new tab. Let's go to google.com. Actually, let's go to a different website than Google. Let's try Amazon.com. So Amazon.com brings up the option already. So let's go ahead and go to it. Should load up Amazon.com. Let's say this is a website you go to a lot. So press the menu button and you can press this bookmarks button and you can name it. Uh, you can add it to mobile bookmarks. You can add it to your desktop bookmarks so it'll be synced back to your desktop. If you have a web page you want to have synced to your desktop, which is great. You can make a new folder for yourself if you want. Other bookmarks, mobile bookmarks. So I'll just add it to mobile bookmarks. I'll hit OK. I'll hit Save and it'll be added. Let's go ahead and open up a new tab again. And let's go to the basically our home. As you can see, Amazon gets added to these quick uh, options with the grid, with Google, Amazon Dashboard, and Welcome to Google Chrome. It also gets added to our bookmarks. Our bookmarks have our mobile, other, well, desktop, other, and mobile. You got those options. Your desktop bookmarks get synced with your device, so you have all those available. And, of course, you got your, your PC um, options as well. But other than that, that's really a general overview of it. It runs very smoothly, especially on the Nexus S4G. I can't even imagine how awesome it's going to be on the Galaxy Nexus. But anyways, of course, the animations are great. Google did an amazing job with this. As I said, definitely be sure to check it out if you have an ice cream sandwich device. And if you don't, 
um, maybe try and get your hands on one because this is definitely a browser you're going to want to check out. Uh, you can exit out of these tabs if you don't like swiping. So let's say I don't want to swipe the Amazon to the left. There's a little X in the upper right hand corner I can press. Exits out of it. So as I said, you can either you can swipe um, or you can just uh, press the little X in the upper right hand corner. Other than that, that's really about it. Uh, I mean, it's, that's really a good overview of the Google Chrome beta browser on your Android device. You do have a refresh button. And uh, other than that, it's, it's really great. Definitely something to check out. Let me know what you think, if you would like this browser on your phone or not. Uh, leave a comment on the video below. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.